Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And if you're not already a member, please join. You'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section, and it'll help you make your picks even better. As you see, there's a whole bunch of different tools that will help you. And you see all the different sports MLB, NBA, NFL, and so on. So, right now, I'm going to be talking about the NFL. As we're into the fifth week of the season, a quarter of the season is already in the books. So let's take a look at some of the key matchups for the week. So we will scroll down through here. Cardinals and the Jets. We're not going to really take a look at that one. The Bills and the Titans. So here's a good one. The Bills are 4-0, leaders of the AFC East. They take on the 3-0 Titans. You notice that both teams are burning hot at the moment. The odds have not yet been posted. But you can see here that the, the score prediction here, 24-23, according to the site, Right here, and that is, <laughs> you can see that it is pretty much a toss up type of a game, which isn't a surprise the way the two teams have been playing. Like I said, both teams are burning hot at the moment. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see Buffalo here is plus 27, Tennessee is at plus 25, so very close there. Head to head matchup. See, last year the Bills won a defensive battle by a 14 to 7 score as a road underdog. If you're considering the over and under in this game and the total is predictor, you can see that the Bills are playing in games trending under the line. The Titans are playing in games slightly over the line. So it's kind of a wash. I would say do not bet the over and under on this one. It's not a very wise decision. See how stable the two teams have been. How well have they been performing according to their favorite underdog status? Well, both are extremely stable. After four weeks, they are both at plus three. We want to take a look at the, where the line has been going so far. We can use this uh, line reversal tool. So let's take a look at week five and see what we got. The Buffalo and Tennessee. You can see so far no uh, odds have yet been posted. So because of that, you will not see anything as far as the uh, line reversal. But take notice of this throughout the week. And take notice if there's any major trends, major shifts one way or another in the line. That will give you a good indication which way to go. But overall, I'm thinking that the Titans will probably come out on top and win a tight game, maybe perhaps by a field goal and wait, but really this game could go either way, and it's going to be a great matchup, a good one to watch. The Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. Carolina is average up at the moment. Atlanta is ice cold down. The Falcons are off to an 0-4 start, while the Panthers won last week to even their record at 2-2. Two two. You can see the uh, over-under on this game is 53.5. The Falcons are our home favorite at 1.77 odds to 2.09 odd. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that Atlanta has dropped considerably, which is not a surprise, being that they're on four, they're down to plus five. Carolina is just slightly higher at plus six. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups between these two teams. Notice that the Falcons have the Panthers number. They won both games last year by a wide margin. 20 in the second game, 26 in the first game, and they were home favorites in their home victory, and they were road favorites in their, uh, excuse me, road underdogs in their victory as well. Take a look at the totals predictor. Let's see if we should bet over and under on this one. You can see Panthers are playing in games trending over the line. Same thing with Atlanta, actually significantly over, so this is a prime game. Good chance to win some money betting the over. How well are the teams playing according to their favored underdog status? You can see here that the Panthers are not very stable here at minus one. And the Falcons are relatively stable right here. They are now at plus three. Let's take a look at the line reversals. See if there's been any kind of big movement here on the line. We have to find the game, of course. As you can see, it's a full story of the game, so we got to scroll down through until we find the matchup that we're looking for, and they're all the way at the top. Okay, so if you take a look at this. Okay, here's the opening line. Uh, 1.461. You can see that the line now, currently, look, at the, look how much it's changed here. The line currently is at 1.769. So you can see it's changed quite a bit here 
So take that in consideration when you're betting on this game. So what I'm thinking so far here, as far as the way the game's going to go, I think that the Falcons will have the advantage because they have had the Panthers number. It won't be like last year with the big blowout, but look for the Falcons to win the game. Let me go down through here to another good matchup. We're going to skip over the Bengals and the Ravens. Jacksonville and Houston. So something has to give in this one here. Neither team is playing well. Jacksonville is off to a 1-3 start. Houston is 0-4. You can see the status dead for Houston. Ice cold down for Jacksonville. But you look at the odds here. Houston is a huge favorite at 1.41 to 2.975 with an over-under of 54.5. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, again, I always like to do that to see how the teams are trending. Look at this. Look at the big decline for Houston. They are all the way down to plus three. And a sharp decline for Jacksonville as well, just not quite as steep, and they are down to plus ten. But it's not, it's not a surprise considering the starts that these two teams have so far. But the head-to-head -head matchup last year on November 3rd, you can see that Houston won as a slight road underdog, but they won convincingly by a 26-3 score. And they also played on September 15th of last year. And in that one, Houston won as a big home fair, but only by one point. If you're looking at the over and under, Jacksonville playing in games trending over, as is Houston. So again, it's a good idea to bet the over on this one. How consistent are the two teams, considering their favorite underdog status? Well, you can see here, again, here's a team that is not very stable at the moment. Jacksonville at minus one. Houston more stable at plus two. If you look at the line reversal. It's always a great tool to use. See how much the line has moved. Here we go, Jacksonville and Houston. So take a look here. The line opened 1.33. And you can see there has been some movement. Not a huge amount of movement. Up and down slightly. And there you can see now it's currently at 1.41. So not enough of a movement to really make much of a change in the way you're going to bet on this one. So what I'm thinking though is I believe that the Texans will win. And probably by a touchdown I think it's going to be a, a good game. But I think Houston has a good chance of coming away with a win on this one. Raiders and Chiefs, that should be an interesting matchup. I'm not going to really take a closer look at that one though. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. And we're going to scroll that through here in a couple more games. We just have to go down through it. Here we go. The Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. The Dolphins are averaged down at the moment. They enter with a 1-3 record. And the 49ers similarly are averaged down at 2-2. Two two. But you can see the 49ers are coming in as a huge favorite at 1.26. Odds uh, to 3.94. And the over and under on this one is not being shown here yet. So we don't really have anything on the over under yet on this one. Look at the power ranking indicator. You see the 49ers are up to plus 23. The Dolphins are also on the rise, but they are at plus 14. So both teams going upward. If you consider the over and under, Miami playing in games trending over the line. You see the black line compared to the blue. You see the 49ers are also playing in games trending over the line. So again, just like all, most of the other games today that we're looking at, it's probably good to bet the over. If you look at the volatility oscillator and see how stable the two teams are, eh, 49ers not very stable at zero. Miami very stable at plus three, meaning they're considering uh, they're playing consistently, excuse me, as their favorite underdog stats indicates. And as a heavy underdog, it's a very good bet to play the 49ers in this one. And that's how I'm going to end it on this one. You're going to bet the 49ers. We could take a look at the uh, line reversal. Well, wait, let's take a look at that. I don't think there's going to be much movement. If any movement, it'll probably be even more in favor of the 49ers. But let's take a look. And you can see here, I start at 1.23. And it didn't really change much at all. So it really hasn't really changed much. But you can see the 49ers are a huge favorite. So that really hasn't changed. So again, bet the 49ers on this one.
The Indianapolis Colts and the Cleveland Browns. Both teams come in with 3-1 records and battling for tops in their divisions. The Colts are burning hot at the moment, as are the Browns. You can see the odds are very close, with the Colts as a slight favorite at 1.89 to 1.94, and the over-under is 47.5. You look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams. They did not play in a regular season game since 2017, so that's not going to be any kind of bearing. In the power ranking indicator, you see the Colts are plus 22, the Browns are plus 16, both teams on the rise, which is not a surprise with their record and their burning hot status. Considering the over and under in this one, you can see the Colts are playing in games trending a little bit under the line, the Browns over the line. You could maybe want to gamble and bet the over on this one, but I'm thinking probably best to avoid it because of trending on opposite sides of the line. If you're looking at how stable they are, again, even in this category as well, both at, at two, it's a very good matchup, very interesting matchup. It's going to be a very uh, entertaining game to watch. So let's take a look at the line reversals, and you will see here Indianapolis and Cleveland. Has much changed? Well, it opened at 1.758. You can see there's been some movement. And currently, we are at 1.893. Not a huge move, but but fairly, fairly good amount of movement. So take that into consideration when placing a bet on this one. I think looking at this, I think the Colts will be the only road team to come away with a win. I just have the feeling that they are going to pull away on this one uh, with the Browns coming back but not having enough the Colts holding on late for the win and there's some more games on the tab here the Giants and the Cowboys and there you have it I'm not going to take a look at any more for today so there you have it again if you're not already a member please join up enjoy all these tools and it will help make your predictions even better so enjoy the week enjoy the games and we will see you next time